everybody. We are back with Total War Rome 2, and we have got ourselves a four versus four. You know, I don't know why, but it feels like it's been a while since we've seen a four versus four. Versus four. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of three versus threes, but uh, this one is not. We are back on the settlement of Lupfordum, and uh, this is an in-house battle, so... This one was sent in by Billy Blazes, who is commanding Iceni. Now, for his allies, we've got Swaby being commanded by who's Mr. Bubbles, or Buble as we call him. We've got Seleucid being commanded by Beb. And finally, Nabatia being commanded by Axe Minister. We actually have a lot of uh, Patreon slash YouTube members in this battle. Bubbles, Axe Minister, um, let's see, for the attackers, we've got Erevo Everos playing Ervaki, we've got Carthage being commanded by DJ, is DJ? I think it was DJ. And then we have got Galatia over on this side being commanded by um, Medusa, and finally Egypt being commanded by Marques. Now we do have another, uh, another member here in... Medusa. He's another one of the YouTube members. If you guys are interested in joining the YouTube membership or the Patreon membership, YouTube membership, you hit that little join button down below the video. If you want to join Patreon, go to the description. The link is there. Gets you higher priority on um, me covering your replays. It also gets you early access to the videos, which is pretty handy because I don't turn the ads on for the early access, so you get to watch it without the ads. Nice and handy, I would, if I don't say so myself. Germanic Slinger set, setting up here. Pretty standard attack for Lupfordum. You know, you hit this wall, you kind of make your way down this way, then push down this street. And then as you push down this street, you tend to put a little more pressure over here. But the initial assault tends to be right down this spot. It's a hard place for the defenders to hold down there. That's why it's so you know, heavy of a choice for the defenders. Or the attackers, excuse me. Got some Club Levy play here. Club Levy, 50 kills. Another one with 84 kills. That's actually really good. Now, might get a switch out. No, he's just going to go into this one. There it is. There's the switch. We do have the Swordmaster General Swaby up. Honestly, he's probably just here for morale reasons. Club Levy have 30 morale. So with the general being closer, they are more likely to last a little bit longer in combat. Ooh, we might have some cav coming out from Nabatea. Arabian cavalry. Uh, he decided against it. He said, well, never mind. I don't think I want to do that. I don't know why I just gave Nabatea that voice, but that's the voice I gave him. It's already done. It happened. Now, what's probably going to happen here in a moment, well, maybe not if he gets this other club levy in. So if you look, the control point of the tower is right here. Um, and if they lose that tower, they're going to have to pull back a bit here. You can see the, looks like the range of the tower is about right there. So they're probably going to have to pull back a little bit behind that line. Otherwise, they're just going to take casualties. That tower will just get free kills on them. So Carthage engaging the club levy. Now we got Thorax swords from Egypt coming around the side. Club levy uh, 14 kills. On the other side, not much of anything going on. But it does look like Alatia may be getting ready to push into here. Good old Medusa. Don't look him in the eyes, he'll turn you to stone. Typical barbarian versus Hellenic fight. The stout formations of the Hellenic units versus the barbaric ferocity of the barbarians. I don't know what else to say. It's all I could come up with on the fly, I'm sorry. 
Now, it looks like Egypt is using formation attack because you can see he's got a pretty narrow area going, and his unit is pretty much staying in that direction. Usually you would see this unit start to, like, expand around, but it is not. He might have been doing it on purpose to try to alleviate javelin tosses. Um, when you aren't turning like that, you typically are keeping your shields a little bit more uniformly placed, so it can help alleviate some of the damage from those side javies. I'm not saying it stops them, but it can help. Galatian Swords going up against Hillman, and Galatian Swords going up against Hillman. Battle of Shiniest Turds. Thorough Spears were moving up, and now they are not moving up. Ooh, got a little bit of stutter there. I don't know why. What the hell? That was weird. Scutari. So you can see they're doing the typical pin them down, jabby. On this side, you can see they have fallen back outside of the range there. So we've got Club Levy of Swaby on one side, and we've got Hillman of Seleucid on the other. You know, I see a lot of Hillmen for Seleucid, so it made me think that maybe he had a shit ton of elites or something. It doesn't look like it. It looks like he just has a bunch of Thorax. Swaby does have, what was this, four Swordmasters, so plus his general, that makes five Swordmasters for Swaby. No, six. One, two, three, four, five. Then six is over here. So far, nothing pushing down the uh, the walkway yet. Nothing yet. Got a depleted club levy and some sword masters backing him up. And they have now just given up the gate. Okay, so very quickly the defenders said, ah, never mind. So the gate looks like the range is around here. So you can see they are setting up to defend behind that. It's a pretty broad street there. That could be an awkward street to defend. Just because a lot of times one unit doesn't quite fill the gap, yet two units almost overfill the gap. So it could be a little bit of a tough area over there. This side, I'm be honest with you, it's pretty pretty simple stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if Swaby um, lets them a little bit further through just because then... Oh, wait, there's a slingers. Um, scratch everything I was about to say. That's all he has is slingers. Okay. Um, never mind. What I was going to say is this little pocket area is actually a really good spot for archers to shoot over into the backs of the units as they come down the way. Obviously, you have to be careful of enemy archers shooting back, but... Looks like they're going to do Swordmaster up on the wall. And I'm assuming he's going to just put them there just to hold the wall in case they try to walk down it. Are they pulling back even more? Are they going to try to go kill box maybe? Looks like they might be trying to go kill box here. Got the Nabatee and Heavy Archers moving around. Second Amity and Heavy Archers are moving to the right here to assist Swaby. Swaby only brought Slingers, so having a little bit of Archer help could be helpful. Got some movement happening on the attacking side. Oh, artillery coming in. Oh, not much this time. We do have quite a bit of artillery on the attacker's side. Um, so we have Carthage, Egypt. Now, Carthage lost all of his. They were all destroyed. Egypt has his. Well, I guess they. I thought they had three, but maybe they only have two. So, yeah, two artilleries. One by Egypt, one by Carthage. And I think the reason for that is it could be a really tough decision because what to... Oh, no. They're really stacked up over here. 
Um, what tends to happen when you, as the attackers bring, let's say, three or four artillery, what tends to happen is the defenders just fall all the way back out of the range of your artillery, which at that point, let's say you have four artilleries, you're wasting, what, 2,800 gold just by itself. Because you now have, you know, 2,800 gold in artillery that is useless and not going to get you any kills. But when you bring two artilleries, defenders are far less likely to fall back from that. It's a very fine line. Don't ever not bring any artillery because then it leaves the defenders the ability to literally stack up however they want to do. So like, let's look at over here right now, okay? So the defenders are really blobbed. There's a lot of really good targets over here for that artillery. And the attackers could take advantage of that. You can see they already are. Uh, Egyptian, e Egyptians, Egypt's artillery is already up to 63 kills and he's not been firing very long. But let's say they didn't have artillery. They could just sit here and line up as much stuff as they wanted to wherever they wanted to put it with basically no repercussions at all. So the artillery prevents them from doing that. Obviously the defenders are not quite doing it. Um, you know, this stack over here is getting hit quite a bit. It is cheap units, so he may be thinking to himself, you know, it's really not big, that big of a deal because in the end, um, you know, it's cheap stuff. But it's, it hurts a lot, man. It really does. Levy Freeman jabbing the backs of the Galatian swords, but now Galatian Legionnaires are going to come in and engage. That was a painful jabbing toss. So we have Iceni, Levy Freeman versus some Galatian Legionaries. And we've got some Nabataean heavy archers over here. Looks like he's trying to shoot over into that combat there. That's exactly what they're trying to do with this kill box, is try to create back shots from either side. So we'll see how they accomplish that. Now you can see Swaby has already gone in Sword Master heavy here. Um, he's already got two Sword Masters in, 195 kills, one at 11. Libyans though, 127 on that one's pretty weak, but 127 kills is pretty solid. Um, this one is pretty fresh, 146 men with 10 kills. Yeah, he's pretty fresh. Now we got some Thorax coming in from Egypt. And interesting Swaby going shield wall here. Once again, I think he's trying to alleviate the Javi toss. Sorry about that, guys. I had to sneeze. Which I did fix my... Uh, <laughs> my push to mute button. There was a video a little while back where apparently my push to mute got taken off somehow. So every little like cough or clearing of my throat, you guys could hear, and I, uh, I hate that myself. So you can imagine how I felt that I made other people listen to it. <laughs> Napatean swords. So a lot of like lower tier units over here. Sword band, Napatean swords. Yeah, that's about about it in this initial combat. We do have some chosen sword band from Iceni in the back here. I don't see any heroic nobles. Okay, he's got one. He does have a chariot general. They have cav over here. nebatee has got camel spearmen and Nebatean noble cav. I think they're, I wonder if they're gonna go out at all to go check here or if they're just waiting uh, to see if there is the possibility of being, cause they're, they put a tower over here, the attackers did. So I wonder if they're trying to be sneaky. Aravaki's got guerrilla, guerrilla deploy troops, so it's a possibility. And you know they brought one because they've got, they moved the towers up. 
So they have at least one Gorilla Warrior. Glacier really bringing the hammer here. He is going all in. We have Armored Desert Hoplites moving up. So now we got some big hitters. Britain Skirmisher is actually getting some really good kills. See, they're shooting right over into the other side of the the combat. And the Armored Desert Hoplites actually kind of fell back. I think this is a thorough spear. Oh, look at the combat on the other side. We got Galatian Legionaries in combat, which one-on-one -on -one they will beat pretty much anything over here. But with the Archer Fire and the Javelins and stuff, that is where the defenders can really pull back the advantage. Skutari, or no, Painted Warriors getting ripped up. Painted Warriors are a good fear um, unit, so they cause fear. Then they have Frenzy, so they're actually a fun combination with the Warrior General and Fire Arrows. Swaby is another fun Warrior General faction. Bring, you know, um, oh my gosh, you just had a complete brain fart. Um, Hex bears, then you have some fire arrows from your Kimbri bows, and then you use warrior gen. You know, you com combine all of those fear effects all together on one um, low morale unit, and you could break one, two, three units just like that. Ooh, this thorax sort of, <laughs> of Seleucid is not in a good place. Thorax of Egypt, and then behind him he's got a, what's it? A, I fear. Gallic Warrior. Gallic Warrior and a Thorax, and I'm sure I'm surprised that they haven't turned around to attack the back of this unit. Good, good switch ups here by Swaby. You can see Carthage was trying to sneak around the side here, but the healthy Swordmaster of Swaby charging in and putting a stop to that. How's the first Swordmaster doing? 189 kills, pretty good. It's got a Chevron as well. Because of all the mix up here though, you can see he's taking a lot of losses. Sometimes all of that cycling that units are doing can lead you to accidentally over pursue a unit and get mixed up with them, causing a lot of ca casualties on yourself. Now, up top, so what do we got? We got German Scorpion. Do we have any other Scorpions here? I think it's just the Swaby one. Thought there might be another, like, Scorpion unit. What is he? Okay, he's shooting over into this combat, this kind of mob. It's only got 11 kills, so it looks like he just started shooting. Just sniped that guy running away. So it looks like they are playing the extra Peltist rule, where instead of just having four range, you can bring an extra Peltist unit. That's why you see uh, multiple skirmisher units around. Outside, we still have a couple units kind of hanging out in the back here. Got a couple units protecting the artillery for now because they do still have ammunition. Made a big push. Look at this. Lots of units moving up for the attackers on the left. Now over here, this is kind of just devolved into madness. Galatian Legionary is all over the place. Oh my god. The skirmishers, man. See, they're launching right over the heads of the front line into the back of the other line there. 
and then they just set somebody on top of them, so they're probably not going to fire very well. So much archer fire. And it's hard for Galatia to counter this because they only have this area here to set up their archers. So it's really hard to set up to counter any sort of ranged combat because there's no room for you to deploy them. So. Break off. Horse runners a Swaby. So maybe he actually pulled his Swordmaster out of here, but then he battle rhythmed them and never countercharged. I feel like there was a misclick in there somewhere. The Horse Runners, 178 kills. Holy crap. I think I bet you they killed a bunch of Skutari. Just kind of getting a scenic view for you guys here. So you guys can see kind of the combat and the fight. Ooh, this might be, hold on, okay. It's hard to tell in the in that view who is who because there's so many of the same units on the field. You got to think that just between two factions, there's probably 14 uh, thorax swords here, which is going to be the most of any single unit. Usually we play with a max of seven units, seven of the same units. Ooh, more artillery coming in. Hitting the Navati and heavy archers. 126 kills. 113, 27. Shooting at the Galatian Legionaries running away. Galatia basically lined up like a battering ram and said, you're not gonna stop me getting through. Now, whether he spoke the truth, we're about we we will find out soon. But that's that seemed to have been the strategy here was, uh, you know, I am Galatia, you will not stop me. Which, to be honest with you, it's Galatia, so they're a pretty damn good faction. But this kill box is very very painful, and I'm a bit surprised that they continue to funnel units into it kind of surprised that we're not seeing more action over here and them lessening their attack over here. What do you got up here? Syrian Archer with zero kills from Seleucid. I'm not really sure what he's doing up there by himself. I mean, there's nothing... He can't shoot from up top there, so I don't know. Egypt is gaining ground on Swaby. Swaby Swordmaster is doing everything they can to hold the gap. The question is, will they be successful? Then as they've gained ground over there, you can see that they're kind of able to exploit a little bit more places on this side. The Germanic Scorpion still going, shooting 72 kills. Artillery from outside still going as well, but it looks like Carthage has now taken over the, the artillery. Egypt, 147 kills. Carthage is going to be a just started. He's got 34 kills right now. So he's probably gotten a couple volleys in, but that's it. I think this Nabataean Heavy is out of ammo. Yeah, he's got his daggers out. There is a way to trick that, but not very many people use it. It's just really not that useful. Typically by looking at the kills, slash looking at their daggers, or whether they have dagger or bow out, usually you can kind of pin down whether or not they've got ammunition or not. 
But sometimes you can kind of trick it by putting the putting your archers or slingers into melee mode. So you press F, press F, it'll change their alternate attack, so it'll make them go into melee mode. Then they will pull out their daggers, and sometimes you can trick people into thinking you're out of ammunition. Oh, rebound right into the Nabataean heavies. They still have good targets here. I don't know how far his artillery goes. But if he can get back here, there's good target. You can see he's firing here. But if he can get fire back here, oof. Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This... Honestly, this whole combat has just been kind of a mosh pit. Carthage, look at this. Carthage is actually trying now to push the flank. He's got, what, I think two Libyan infantry coming over here. And then maybe we're going to get some Skitari from Aravaki as well. So you can see they're bringing one tortoise over and maybe they'll take the tower as well. I'm not sure. But that could be a little bit annoying for Swaby. Swaby may not have enough units to guard this as well as guard over here. So I'm gonna, uh, be interested to see how that goes. No. Well, that calf from Nabatea is still sitting back there. Hasn't used, has not been used yet. Oh my gosh, this mosh pit, man. Oh. God, the artillery. Oh. That hurt so bad. So bad. So bad. It's not exactly how the song goes, but it's fine. Look at him. Carthage's artillery is already up to 137 kills. And looks like we might get a little bit of a pushback here. Armored Desert Hoplites are regaining some ground. Sorry, I bumped the mic there. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, no. Okay, so they have regained both sides. So I'm curious as to if they will continue to hold their two points here or if they will finally just take the, the street looks to me like they're taking the street they are no longer going to hold their kill box guess it's not much of a box but you know what I mean all right tortoise is getting close to the wall over here we do have a sword master from, from sway be ready there were some Armored Desert Hoplites over here, but it looks like they have been called over to the other side. Swaby's General 134 kills. Yeah, okay, so they are holding their kill box. They, after regaining the position and pushing them back into the street, they did fall back. Now they're charging back in. Sword band, 73 kills. I think Galatia's in trouble. He is pretty much out of troops. Aravaki's pretty much out of troops. Bounce power, honestly, damn, it's still dead even. Look at this, look at this. Oh man, Libyan infantry, Libyan infantry. Then we have multiple Skitari, got Iberian skirmishers. Gorilla warriors get hopping up on the tower here. Oh, I get, just realized Aravaki has an Iberian Scorpion. 96 kills is pretty solid. Not too shabby at all. A lot of Cretans moving up. We got a lot of archer power over here from the attackers. Noble fighters of Aravaki are going in. 
No, they're not. Ran all the way up here to turn around and leave. Your men gonna be exhausted here soon. Syrians are actually get, giving the defenders a taste of their own medicine. Look at that. Shooting right over the houses here into this defense. All right, Libyans first one in. Germanic slingers holding down. Here comes more sword masters. Look at the sword masters. Only lost 40 men, and he's at 151 kills. What is up with that? Okay, one of the Qutari actually came all the way over here. Curious as to where he's going to set down the tower. Gorilla Warrior is moving another tower as well. But I, I hate to say, I wonder if it's too late just given how much is lost over here. Um, you can see Carthage has brought up a couple units to, to help with this side, but... They've lost so much in this area that I'm curious as to whether this is too late or not. We're about to find out. Gallic warriors are up on the walls. Got cab play. Look at that. Look at those flags move Nabatea. He has activated that cavalry. Let's see where she goes. Keep an eye on those flags. All right, defenders are falling back to their kill box. Back, warriors, back. Glacier Nobleman Jen <laughs> somehow survives this. Yeah, so they're falling back to that kill, kill box. Okay, Cav has gone outside. All right, they're bringing, looks like all their Cav out. Carthaginian Ballista is out of ammunition. 216 kills though. God damn. The Swordmaster is going to be really hard to beat on a one on one fight. They don't really have any angles to assist them here, so it's literally mano a mano. And you got Cav coming around the outside. Well, he pulled all the Cav out, he hasn't moved it yet. What will he do? Or, as the song goes, what will you do with the cavalry? What will you do with the cavalry? What will you do with the cavalry? Early in the morning. Charge them in the back until they're dead. Charge them in the back until they're dead. Charge them in the back until they're dead. Early in the morning. You call them sea shanties. I call them sea chanties. Come on. That was a good joke. Oh, oh gosh, I'm so disappointed. I, I really don't, I hate to say it, I don't see this going well. On a one-on-one -on -one fight with no real support from any archers or anything, taking on the sword masters one-on-one, -on -one, it's just it's not gonna go well for the Libyans, not gonna go well with the, for the Scutari. You're just outclassed. You're talking about two different units that are completely outclassed by each other. So Swordmaster's in an elite class, your Libyan infantry and Skutari in a mid-tier class. So when you put them one versus one, with no sort of, let's say, javelin play or extra units, swift swapping or archers or anything uh, you know, outside of the mano a mano fight, the, the Libyans are gonna lose that. The Skutari are going to lose that. It's just the fact of the matter of being outclassed by your opponent unit wise bounce power man it's still dead even to me it seems like the defenders have really taken the the initiative on this but i definitely expected the bounce power to be far more skewed than it is by the way where did where did the oh there he is i was looking for the iceni general he was over here and i was like where'd he go where'd he go like, oh god, I missed it! 
Nabataean Cavalry, just kind of moving around. He's not doing much right now. Uh, a bunch of units have moved over from Carthage and Egypt, though. It looks like maybe another Gorilla Warrior, or is this, it's the same one. Because, see, the tower is not on, so yeah, it's the same Gorilla Warrior. Now, the, the problem with all these units moving over is that they are now kind of exposed. Got a lot of archers here that look like they still have ammunition. And I don't know if he's got enough units to keep these calf out of his archers. Wow, call them bastards. Wow, rude. Armored Desert Hoplite's holding over here. This is a good spot for your Hoplite units. It's a very tight form, or a very tight, like, choke point. So your Hoplites actually fill that void very well. Hoplites tend to run into problems when they are not fully protected on the flanks. Oh my god, the Swordmaster's just getting annihilated by Archer Fire. Yeah, five units, no, six units of Archers. No, five, I had it right. Five units of Archers firing at these Swordmasters. And right now he's just trying to waste volleys. He's just running around. As those volleys come in, is not really hitting as many, and so they're wasting volleys. To be honest with you, it's a unit of 24 men, probably not worth the archer fire anymore. I don't see this going anywhere anytime soon, especially now that units have been pulled away from this front. Cav came in the back, got the Arabian Cav, 40 kills. I'm personally not a huge fan of Arabian Cav, I just don't think they're that good. Carthage General is just sticking close. Trying to zone out this calf. Camel Spearman might be going in, though. They do not like Camel Calf other than Camel Cataphracts. What the fuck is going on? Sorry. I was trying to insert into this unit, but it didn't. It went over to the Iceni General on the other side. Ooh, speaking of... Just saw his unit, or his uh, flag moving. Here we go, Samnite warriors, no shield wall. They have no defense against chariots. Noble fighters, no shield wall. They also don't have protection versus chariots. Oh no. All right, chariots, 27 kills so far. Actually not getting too many kills through that unit. There, now we're getting some kills. Now that he's gotten in the archers, he's getting some kills on the chariots now. You also have the Galatian. Oh, they had a scorpion as well. Oh my gosh, 209 kills. He's got two chevrons. Now he's gonna get into the back of Egypt and Carthage. 245 kills. Oh my gosh, in Egypt, too late on the shield wall. I don't know if Egypt just didn't see him coming. None of his other units go in shield wall either. Oh my gosh, the Iceni general is just racking up kills. 347 kills. Oh, this is what, I call this a backbreaker, man. Oh, 380. Maybe not a backbreaker, but man, it hurts. He's at 392 now. He's gonna get into the back of these lines. Gonna get into the Noble Fighters. Look at that, Noble Fighters 288. Pretty good kills there. Arabaki Noble Fighters are pretty damn good units. 418. Uh, back into the back of Egypt's thorax. He might even get out of here. 421. Kill, kill, kill. Back 
Nabatia's cab just being an absolute nightmare. Doesn't even look like he's getting too crazy at kills. It's just that the he's making the enemies have to just mess around with them a lot. That could be one reason why Egypt did not see the chariot. He might have been microing one of those units. 442. Cheese and crackers. And does he break the last? Oh, he broke it. Yeah, he did. Where are we going now? Break another one. Another one. Maybe not. So Luke could actually getting a little aggressive there. Look at that, he pushed forward. Looks like Nabatia pulled his general back. The camel spears, I think, are gone. Arabian Cav now getting into the back here. He's got 150 kills now. Looks like he's been doing some kills on these guys back here. 478 on the Iceni chariot. A bit surprised the Arabian general or the Arabian general, the Arabian cab didn't go into this. And Carthage, did he just forget the Libyan infantry? I mean, I guess that's the only real reasoning I could think of as to why there's a Libyan infantry sitting there. I see the general still going. He's only got one chariot left though. Is that general dead? Yeah, he's dead. And he's gone. And he's gone. Well, that got really hectic there really quickly. And uh, it really swung the balance of power as well. Look at that. Balance of power is really gone towards the defender's favor now. And, you know, for such a kind of high aggressive, crazy, intense beginning to this battle, it definitely has kind of slowed down a little bit. Less units. Heroic Nobles, Chosen Sword Band. It looks like on this side, maybe they're going to push the flank. That's what I would do. Got plenty of units to push it with. Yeah, it looks like it. So, push this way. What you can do is you can loop a unit around like that or like that. Um, hold here. I don't think you really need to be too crazy aggressive. Just continue to hold this area. Then, you know, rest of your units come around and let, wipe that out. And then go and finish this off. I think that's the way this battle goes. Most kills, I'm probably gonna go swaby for most kills. That's gonna be my guess. Lose. And I think we're starting to see army losses here. Yeah, look at that. Just one by one units dropping. What is left? You still have. It's probably going to be this 160 man Libyan infantry unit that's going to last a little bit longer, just because he's a healthy unit. They're probably. It's probably going to make him. Or maybe the, no, because he just broke. First, I thought he saw. I thought I saw a flashing banner, but yeah, it's going to be the Libyan infantry. I don't think they're going to make it. Yeah, there it is. Ta-da! Man, a, a, a tense fight. Intense fight. Wow, look at this. Actually, Axe Minister as uh, Nabatia pulling out most kills. 2,465 kills. Let's go look at his kills real quick. Archers, oh, I mean, look at 211, 203, really well done. 
This Cav did really solid to uh, 175 with two chevrons on the Arabian Cav. And then his Armored Desert Hoplites all did solid. Beb 444, 1,658 kills as Seleucid. His archers did pretty good, except for this one. I don't really know exactly what it was doing. It was just kind of way back at the back. Um, it's fine. His Thorax Swords, though, eh, they did all right. It's a Thorax Sword. 2406 as Swaby for Mr. Bubbles. 203 on the general. All of his sword masters. Look at that. Two chevrons, two chevrons, two chevrons. One and one. Still pretty good, though. Um, Germanic Slingers did pretty good. Finally, Billy Blazes as Iceni with 1,936 kills. 495 kills on the general. A lot of his slingers didn't get much of anything. Looks like they had a ton of ammo, but two of them, 153 and 172. Um, couple chosen sword band not even getting into combat. 218 on this one. Now for the attackers, we have Marquez as Egypt with 1226. Really, he just got bullied by Swaby, man. I hate to say it. That was really the, the you. I introduce you to the Swordmaster game. Um, very, very painful, especially in an unsupported position like that. Um, DJ uh, as Carthage, 1802. Leaving Infantry did pretty solid. Couple chevrons each. You know, two, two, one, one. Um, his Sam Knights are pretty good. 190 on a Gallic Warrior. 217 on the on the ballista, the yeah, ballista. Medusa is Galatia with 1835 leading the attackers here. Um, really what happened here was that kill box. That kill box is really what did it. And surprisingly, like he actually a lot of his infantry actually did pretty good, even going into that yucky kill box. Finally, Inchida Bandit, which is actually Everos, 1,757 kills as Erevaki. His two noble fighters, 202, 294 with two chevrons. Nicely done. 139 on Scorpion. And then Skitari, I hate to say, I'm pretty sure that's where uh, Bubbles got a lot of his kills on his slingers, was on those Skutari right there. That very, very painful. Well, that is going to be it for today's battle. Thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget that if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.